What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel again. Glad you're tuning in. Bringing you back another video and today I have something very special that I want to share with y'all. I've been working on it and trying to get everything figured out, but I just kind of want to go over this and let me go ahead and explain. Of course you see the lovely beautiful car, but we have to go to the back. And you'll see all this. All right guys, so basically I have here bunch of detailing equipment because I am trying to get into mobile detailing. Um, that's what all this is for. I've been kind of wanting to do it for a while now. I do enjoy working on my own car and cars and, you know, detailing them and stuff, getting them washed up. So I figure, you know, I have a passion for it. I like doing it. Why don't I try doing it and opening a business of my own? So I've already bought a bunch of stuff here. Links will be in the description below for everything that I basically have here uh, to get this started. The only thing that I'm trying to figure out now is a, a vehicle to put this all in so I can uh, make it mobile. So I'm thinking of maybe like a Ford a Transit Connect, a little car um, type van, or maybe even one of the Ford um, 150 uh the little vans or whatever. There's a little bit bigger than the connects, but uh, trying to figure out what I want to do as far as that goes. But let's go ahead and talk about all this here. Okay guys, so first to start off, I did go ahead and buy this little um, chair that's got the wheels on it. It can hold a bunch of stuff, as you can see here. These things do come, kind of come out and it's good for, you know, when you need to sit low, you don't want to be standing or kneeling. Um, it can hold some stuff here on this side. It can hold some stuff here on this side. And it also has a little pouch in here. So pretty good stuff there if you ask me. Okay, the next thing here is the generator. Obviously, you're going to need a generator to power all this stuff if you're going mobile. So I went ahead and went with the Predator 3500 inverter. And supposedly, it's one of the best ones on the market. Now, I did go ahead and get a couple things for the generator here. I mean, it comes with a couple things here, some tools, you know, your um, instruction manual. It does come with the fuel stabilizer here that you put whenever you put the gas in. And then also oil for the generator here and a little catch can because uh, we're going to need that when we change the oil uh, for you know the warranty for it so here's the top of it that's what it looks like there and I have it in the corner so I can't really show you the full thing but I just kind of want you to go over what it looks like here so I'm gonna put that back right there now the second thing we have here is a air compressor I went ahead and went with the rigid um, I think it's 200 psi I think is what it says on the side um, but this is one of the best ones that they have on the market there. Got the hose and a little bit of the extra accessory kits there. But that should help with getting the air. And it comes with, you know, your instruction manual and stuff like that. But two really good products right there. And let's move on to the next one. Okay, up next is the pressure washer. And I did go ahead and go with the Cat 1800 um, PSI pressure washer as you can see this is what it looks like here uh, it comes with you know your your hose your spray gun right here instructions and then comes with a few things accessories so you can access this stuff a little bit easier so you know your cable so you can wrap that around the different nozzles right here on the side and it comes with a little foam cannon blaster thing won't be really good just because you know that's what it comes with but we have an aftermarket one that we're going to use so that one looks like it should be providing us Pretty good for our pressure washer. All right, guys, and then the next one I wanna show y'all is this McCulloch Steam Cleaner. Um, it's a very good product as well. One of the best ones that I've been seeing reviews for. Uh, it does come with this little collapsible handle. You can raise it or lower it. And it comes with you know the hose that you see there. And then this bag here has a bunch of different accessories that go on the front part of it to make life easier for whatever uh, task you're trying to get cleaned. But Water goes in right here. Then you got your little gauge right there. Uh, power button switches on the other side right there. And you know, pretty simple there. So the steamer to get any carpets and other messes cleaned out of that one. Okay, next thing. So I have all of the liquids here, all the chemicals. Now basically what I have here, I went ahead and went with PNS. Um, I saw a lot of good reviews with them. So I wanna kind of use their products. I have their carpet bomber here in the bigger container and then obviously the smaller one that we can use to spray. The other one over here is the Express uh, interior cleaner, this little bottle here. And then the big one will be right here on the side. And then we also have the Brake Buster, uh, the purple one here. 
and the big one to combat it. So those three are the ones that are right there. Now, these two up in the front, hold on, let me move this out of the way. This one's gonna be the Pearl Auto Shampoo. Uh, these first two right here are those, and then this one is a different one. This one is Meguiar's Ultimate Wash and Wax, and that's what this one is here as well, as you can see. So those will be for the first. So the PNS, those two front ones, ones there, that'll be used for the spray down on the foam cannon first. We'll rinse it off and then we'll use the um, Meguiar's wash and wax when we actually use the hand touch part to actually wipe down the car with the uh, with the little mitt on. So that's those are the chemicals that we'll be using for those that I have as of right now. Now, the water tank here, I was originally going to try to work this out of my little Mazda car. So that's why I bought this 16 gallon water tank here. Now, <laughs> it's not gonna be big enough to really do more than I'd say probably one car, uh, if that. So I'm gonna have to upgrade or figure out something uh, when I get the van, because obviously it needs to be way bigger than that, but it was expensive. I can't remember off the top of my head. I know it was like at least 150 bucks for that tank. So anything bigger, I'm probably gonna have to spend at least two to $300 for a decent sized tank that can be probably between 30 to 50 gallons is my guess is what is what we'll need to do at least several cars without having to refill it again so but we're working with what we have and you know you kind of learn uh, in, in this type of business I guess you could say and you know we'll, we'll figure it out moving on to the next thing so now we have our gas tank here that will obviously be for filling up the uh, generator in the back there with gas because it's going to take gas to use and then on to our next one is we have our rigid uh, shop vac. Huge shop vac, looks awesome. I've already assembled it and everything. Comes with you know your hose that have the locks on it, extra lining there, bunch of different attachments for a bunch of different jobs that you need. And then it also comes with the uh, filters here, as you can see, uh, filters. That way you can have you know throw away the bag and not have a lot of mess whenever you use it in here. It is a dry wet vac, but most people prefer just to use the dry. So I also have another little spotless cleaner here on the side, uh, you know, just for other stains and stuff like that. So, you know, I'm just gonna try to pick and choose. I have the steamer over there. I have this one, so I have two. So, you know, it'll, it'll be good. So we'll, we'll do that there. Okay, moving on to our next thing. So we already talked about the little bags there for the vacuum. I do have the buckets here for the two bucket method wash system. They both have the little scrubber things in the, in, the, in the on the bottom part, so that way you can rub your mitt on there and get some of that grime off. So both of those two buckets there. More microfiber towels, because you can't have enough microfiber towels when you're cleaning, okay? Now, up here on the top, let's start up here. I do have this uh, blower. Pretty good blower, it was cheap on Amazon. Just something else to get, you know, water and dust and stuff off a car. I have, you know, your gloves that you'll need whenever you're working. Um, I see people wear those all the time. You'll have your tire shine applicators here. And we also have a uh, pet hair detailer remover. Pretty good. All this stuff is you can pretty much find on Amazon. And like I said, the links will be in the description below if you're trying to find exactly what uh, I have here. Uh, here's the battery and the charger for the blower there. And then behind it, we have the MJC or MJJC uh, foam cannon, their pro model. This is the best one that you can get uh, from them. And that's kind of what it looks like there. So I'll take it out and actually do a demo of it later when I actually get everything started. All right guys, so moving down to the bottom part here, we have three buckets here and they all have stuff specific for detailing. You got your, you know, your mitts for uh, you know, washing the car. You got your big wipe down after you know, you're trying to dry the car. Here's another mitt here. Uh, you know, tire cleaner for when you're doing that. Tire scrubber for, you know, in between the wheel wells. You got another mitt here. And then a bunch of just, you know, brushes and other stuff like that for cleaning wheels and other parts of the car. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these back in this bucket here. We'll move on to this next green one. As it looks like, another mitt, more microfiber towels, little scrubber here for glass, stuff like that. And we'll move on to the next one here. So here it looks like, you know, more scrubbers here for like the wheels or the interior. We got brush kits, 
we have these little applicator pads here and the little tools here that can go on the um, electric machines the drills the electric drills okay i can't even speak today sorry guys just a bunch of those little accessories there in this one so that bu those buckets will serve their purpose there and then you know i got some more microfiber towels over here here's the little drill for if we need to use that we also have some clay bar kits here with the quick detailer uh, in case we need to clay bar uh, a car and you know lots of people don't have a clay bar so they're gonna have a lot of contaminants on their car so there's some other stuff there and then here's just my little rack here that i have for you know in-home use got your wipes more mcguire's ultimate wash and wax you have your rain x there uh, that's just kind of what i like to use and then tire shine all-wheel cleaner quick detailer quick wax just a few other stuff that i kind of will use i guess throughout the detailing of my own type uh you know process here but otherwise, this is basically it, guys. This is everything that I've bought so far. Uh, there will be one other thing that I haven't gotten yet in the mail yet. It's supposed to be coming. Uh, I'll put a picture right over here on the side. Um, it's just the little stubby uh, pressure washer gun. It'll be right there. Um, that one I should be getting probably you know, very soon. And then I have been wanting to also uh, make it a quick uh, unplug for all of the, uh, you know, pressure washer and stuff like that. All right guys, well, that was just the stuff I wanted to show you. I'm really excited to make this happen and I'm just working hard to get, you know, logos done and everything else done to get this started. Um, there's just a few other things that I'm trying to get to get this started, but y'all heard in the video. Um, until the next video, guys, just kind of hang tight. I'm trying to bring out as much stuff as possible as I can and I hope to bring y'all a lot more stuff in the future. So I thank y'all for supporting me. This is the Rogue Vet out. Until the next video, guys, y'all have a good one. Peace.